Thank you to Manscaped and Shopify for sponsoring the channel this week. More on them after the reaction. A little gremlin child I am. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of Yoda as well. <laughs> I actually have no idea what the gremlins are like, but that's what Me they neither. look like. Yeah. The only thing I know about gremlins <laughs> is that, oh, do they have ears? I think so. This is what I know. Every person references Gremlins for one reason. The first movie and the second movie are completely different genres. Sure, sure. I don't know what genre either of them are. I don't either. I, I know people whip this one out around Christmas. <laughs> oh, is that true? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Give it to the Jew then. Ron Joxy in the Ooh, house, baby. Ron Joxy. We are watching Gremlins, the first one. We've never seen it. We have no idea what we're in for, but nope. jingle bells are ringing. <laughs> <laughs> they might be. I might be wrong. I don't know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. It's not a Christmas movie. Uh, if you guys are excited about this, like the video, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notification purposes or for Christmas purposes. Always for Christmas There's purposes. bells at Christmas, right? Silver bells to denote Christmas time in the city. All the bells for Christmas are silver? In the song they are. That's not true. There's a lot of different kinds of bells. Oh, oh. Silver bell. <laughs> Silver bell. Yes, exactly. Oh, you have a much better voice than I do. Nah. If you want all of the singing and all of the shenanigans, then be super sexy. Become a patron where you can uh, have a full-length reaction watch along where you sync up with your own copy. It wasn't even there. Yes. And I so did it. So killing it. And I did it. You That's where the super the queen. sexy Ray Jacks are. That's where John and Greg cover several shows exclusively with reaction highlights and watch alongs included. Purge! Whoa. I just purged all that goodness out. Are you ready for this? I'm so ready for this. I'm hanging on the edge of my seat. Okay, let's do it. Also, guys, Roxy's new film, Always Lola, just dropped on VOD. It's been getting great reviews. We really appreciate it if you guys check it out. And if you do, come on back in the comments and show her some love. Let them know. It's Ooh. Warner Brothers, part of the AMPTP, yeah. now having a deal with SAG. We love to see it. At last. Long last. Huh, where does this movie take place? Let me introduce myself. Peltzer's the name, Rand Peltzer. That's Ooh. me there on the corner. That's me in the corner. <laughs> That's me in the street lights. Well, nobody's got a story like this one. Okay. It all started here in Chinatown. We're in Chinatown. I was hitting the shops trying to move a little merchandise. Of New York? Maybe find a present for my kid. I tried this one place. Chinatown, USA. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, I thought this movie was animated, so I'm all, I'm tapped already. All surprises. This is your grandfather's store? Yeah. Okay. Now, why do you got to drag people in off the street? The audio of this sounds like they're playing a movie. It's going to pull out from the TV any moment. That's what it sounds like. Look around. See if there's something you like. See anything you like. <laughs> what? From Halloween? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure many other things. <laughs> so we got to assume we're in New York. Because the Yankees. Yeah. And Chinatown. Interesting artifacts here, but there's one thing you don't have. I'm an inventor. I made this the bathroom buddy. Oh. Invention of the century, friends. It eliminates the, the need to carry heavy luggage and things when you travel. Oh. You got yourself your toothbrush. You got yourself a toothpick. You got toenail clippers. You got... Not... <laughs> All you do is you take your toothbrush out and you push this button. Oh, oh. jeepers. Rand Peltzer. Fantastic ideas for a fantastic world. I make the illogical logical. Bars. I can get them by the dozen if you'd like. It reminds me when people go on Shark Tank and the pitch goes wrong. <laughs> like, it's no problem. It's fine. This is the direct predecessor to that. This guy's going to go start Shark Tank any minute now. Is Mark Cuban? Yep. What is it? A gremlin. Mogwai. A mogwai. Yeah. What's he doing? Singing. Aw. The voice of a theremin. I got to have him. He's <laughs> incredible. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you $100 for him. Damn. No. Look, I've got to have him. It's a present for my son for Christmas. I'll give you $200. What was what was your criteria? 
With more quiet comes much responsibility. I cannot sell him at any price. Not even to Spider-Man. Wait outside a moment. I'll be right out. I'm going to haggle with my dad. He's going to steal the Mogwai? My Mogwai? grandpa, whoever. <laughs> Here it is. Oh, Damn. Right. What about your grandfather? We need the money. Now, come on. You want it or not? I want it. <laughs> Take oh, my money, fade. kid. That crossfade. Back in the 80s. There's three rules you've got to follow. Keep him out of the light, especially sunlight. It'll kill him. Oh, no. And keep him away from water. He's a vampire. But the most important rule... No matter okay. how much he cries, no matter how much he begs, never feed him after midnight. Whoa. I know people like that. When can you start feeding them again? Yeah. Because it's always after midnight somewhere. It's a really fair question. Wow. Rockin' Ricky Rialto. That is some Indiana Jones font. Ricky Rialto, the voice of Kingston Falls, USA. Hey. Christmas. Stevie. Steven Spielberg. Look out. Did you know that? Nope. <laughs> Whoa! Jesus, kid. Oh, Phoebe Cates. Damn, all right, all right. And Hoyt Axton. I love Hoyt Axton so much. thought I'd be seeing you about this time. Huh? Ow! What the hell is this? <laughs> what are you doing in there? Don't ask. <laughs> I'm undercover. <laughs> Come on, you hunk of junk. Okay, Jerry Goldsmith, because this is a tune. Hey, man, Jerry Goldsmith got classics under his belt. I'd love to see a, a Jew doing a Christmas movie f music. Yeah, <laughs> man. It's going to be the, the most Jewish Christmas movie you've ever seen. <laughs> Oof. It's What's gotta, happening there? It's got to melt some of that snow. Kathleen Kennedy. Kathleen! That is wild. Hey, man, she's Kathleen's produced a lot of classics, all right? Yeah. People go hard on her, but she's produced a lot of gems. Pretty much late for work as it is. His goddamn foreign cars, he always frees up on you. That guy, Dick Miller! See that plow? 15 years old. Hasn't given me a day's trouble in 15 years. You know why? Kentucky Harvester. Harvester. I want to keep my job. I really think I should be going now. Hey, how's that uh, comic strip of yours coming? So I expect to see you in the funnies any day now with Smiling Jack and Little Abner. Yeah. Oh, well, Mr. Futterman, they don't run those comics anymore. What? So you've never had the privilege of having to get snow off your car? Mm, I mean, I've had to, you know, defrost a car once or twice Have on you? trips, but not like frequently as part of my life growing up. Imagine going to high school and every day just having you have a to start <laughs> the day. <laughs> yep. You got to heat the car 20 minutes early. Ouch. Written Chris by Columbus. Chris Columbus. Oh, Damn. this is interesting. He started trying to write Home Alone and then accidentally wrote this. What's up, pup? Oh, damn. <laughs> it's a good quick change. What do you know about quick changes when you are have been a warm weather man your whole life? <laughs> you don't know. Everything. I am wearing a unitard under this outfit right now. This feeling when you walk in and your hands are like thawing out still and you have to start using them. Your fingers are all still like slow and numb. You sign this petition. Yeah, sure. What's it for? What's it for? We're trying to have Dory's pub declared a landmark. Mrs. Deagle's trying to take his lease away. Uh-oh. Yeah, she says it's a dive, a public nuisance. That's where my dad proposed to my mom, you know. That's where everybody's dad proposed to their mom. Cross your teeth. Oh. And look deep into my eye. Uh, she's immediately giving the witch from Wizard of Oz energy. Good morning, Mrs. Deagle. What's good about him? <laughs> I knew it. Madam and you're Scrooge. pretty dog, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's the Wicked Witch, and she's Ebenezer Scrooge. 60, 80. <laughs> Great music choice. Mrs. Deagle? What? 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 I just wanted to let you know that Joe got himself another Joe? job. My husband, Joe Harris, and I've taken up some sewing Whoa. on the side. Mrs. Harris, what are you trying to tell me? <laughs> <laughs> It's a great reaction off screen. That neither one of us will be paid for two weeks. Just give us a little more time. The bank and I have the same purpose in life, to make money, not to support a lot of deadbeats. But Miss Deagle, it's Christmas. Mrs. Deagle, it's Christmas. Hey, I wrote this movie <laughs> in a dream. How did, how did you do that? It's telepathy. Psychiatry. <laughs> This is what's left of my imported Bavarian snowman. Your dog broke it this morning. 
I'm terribly sorry. Just tell me how much I owe you. I'll be more than happy to. I don't want money. Mm. Fix it. I want your dog. She is literally the witch. And your pretty dog, too. Ha 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 ha. I'll take him to the kennel. They'll put him to sleep. It'll be quick and painless compared to what I could do to him. For, for messing up your decorative snowman? Then you'll get what he deserves. Uh oh. A slow, painful death. Maybe I'll put him in my spin dryer on high heat. Wowie! No, doggo! Damn it! Damn! She deserves it. American hero, that dog. Barney wouldn't have hurt you, Mrs. Deagle, honestly. Excuses, excuses. You're just like your father. I've listened to his miserable excuses for ten years, the loser. I'll get you. <laughs> Most unusual. You putts. Yeah, you putts. It's been a long time since I've heard someone called a putts. It isn't Captain Clip-On. Guess who almost applied for unemployment today? I give up. You. But Mr. Corbin had second thoughts. Clip-On. Yeah, and he clipped his tie on right when he got to work. Oh. Good catch. Well, Merry Christmas to you, too. Excuse <laughs> me, Mr. Jones. This guy was like in every 80s movie. Yeah, for real. You're practically supporting your whole family. The world's changing, Peltzer. You gotta change with it. You gotta be tough. Be a man. You haven't seen my new apartment. I haven't seen your old apartment. <laughs> We're talking cable. Can't we have dinner tomorrow night? I'm working. We're talking cable. Why don't you tell Dory you're sick? You can't dock your pay. <laughs> AJ sucks. Guy. Yeah. Why are you around any of these people? Billy, is that you? Yeah, Mom, it's me. Them sword's gonna come in handy later. Hi, sweetie. Aw. Do you need any help? Um, yeah, you could do the eggs. Look at all those onions. What Not do you think she's making? Like a stew? With eggs? Or like a meatloaf, maybe? <laughs> what the f- Oh, it's his dad makes all those inventions. Yeah. Oh, don't be a putz man. Dad's machines, they work so well the first couple of weeks, and- <laughs> Mrs. Deagle called again this afternoon. So did Mrs. Smeagol. <laughs> Is it like every time they open the door? Invent some to hold those swords up better. -la 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 -la. Oh, thanks, Dad. You're going to like this. What is it, a birdcage? <laughs> it's a bread case. It's a puppy, isn't it? Mm. Uh, yeah, it is. I can tell. It's a new car. <laughs> His dad is so sweet. Oh. Yeah. Dim the lights. Dad, what does it do? Glow in the dark? It's important. Trust me. I'm not messing with you. Is this a horror movie? I'm not sure. Maybe a little. <laughs> oh. <Ooh. laughs> Damn. It's your new pet. Huh? Come on, Bonnie, be a good dog. Yeah, don't don't maul <laughs> this creature. So is he gonna name him Gremlin? I don't know. You're kidding. Maybe it'll be like some prejudiced slang they use for the Mogwai. Looks like a Furby. Yeah. I don't know why. I thought they were a green or something. Mm. Oh. Oh, cute. Yeah. <laughs> Has it got a name, Dad? Yeah, Mogwai is where it's a Scottish band. I just call him Gizmo. Gizmo. I've heard that. Gizmo. Hey, you gotta get a picture taken. Smile. Oh, no, the flash. One, oh, yeah. Two, three. Oh. No, no. What happened? He hates bright lights. Yeah. <laughs> Can't feed him after a night. Don't give him any water to drink. And whatever you do, don't give him a bath. And probably the most important thing, don't ever feed him after midnight. I like how he's talking as if he, like, knows, knows what he's talking what about. What do you think the deal with the water thing is, though? How are you going to clean him? You know, various acids. So they must have designed Furbies after this, right? Did you have one of those? No, but I mean, it was, they were ubiquitous. Yeah. I, I spent time with many Furbies. <laughs> I never had one of my own. <laughs> He's so cute. Aww. I just do not know where we're going in terms of, is 
Should I be prepared to be sad? No, oh, jeez, dude. Be careful. <laughs> Is there water in there? Sure hope not. Oh, damn it. Did he say bright light? Yeah, but also he's got to wash him off from being in the trash. Oh, what is that? Has he got like a little Cut? scrape? Yeah, has he like bandaged him up? Oh, little guy. I'm trying not to play so much, okay? Oh. How do you think they're doing that with him? With the, oh, it's probably some kind of puppet. I don't know where we're at with like radio yeah. control technology, but yeah, there's got to be puppeteering going on for sure. But she said they work for the first couple weeks, remember? Hey. Oh, damn it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Is there extra water going through there? What a fun All character that trait from. for a character. Yeah. Jeez, kid. <laughs> wow. Hey, One orange did all that. Just brought in your Christmas there might have been tree. other ones. <laughs> what happened? Is that Corey? For sure. You know, you should just buy orange juice and cartons. It's a lot easier. <laughs> See? It works. Jeez, dude. <laughs> uh, that must be the earliest I've ever seen Corey. <laughs> Yeah. Is that not a bright light, though? I guess not bright enough. Yeah. What's that? No, I'll show you. Got so many cool posters. Dad gave it to me. Neat. What's his name? His name's Gizmo. Neat. Hi, Giz. It's like everybody's treating it like it's normal. Like, neat. Yeah, like, like in the, your universe is our weird pets common. Gizmo. 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 Now watch, Pete. Maybe he'll sing. He is very natural. Makes me kind of sad. I sat with him for like an hour a couple few years ago interviewing him. Can I hold him? Sure. I don't see why not. He seems to like you. Oh. Oh. The, water. The, water. The, water. the water. The water. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. Why are you making that noise? Pick him up. Get him out of the water, right? What was that? Nice little Dutch tilt. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Oh. oh, it's one of those things from Star Trek. It's a, it's a triple. The trouble with troubles. The best episodes ever. Oh, it grows a second one. Multiplies. So they reproduce if you water them. Ah. Oh my god. This is like little holes in his back. Why aren't they picking him up? Why are they just letting him suffer there? This is some interesting effects. Does he reproduce and die? <laughs> you the little guys. Little noses. One, two, three, four, five new ones. Can now, I keep can I one? one? <laughs> yeah. Hey, look at that one's got a cute little stripe on its head. Hey, uh, Ow! I mean, don't you think this is, this is incredible? It really is neat. I'm serious. <laughs> There's a problem with the mogwai. Yeah, what's that? Well, it multiplies with water. What? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, Donkey Kong. You know, it's funny. The new ones aren't like Gizmo. The one with the stripe seems to be the leader. You know what? Oh, no. I'll bet every kid in America would like to have one of these. Oh, Jesus. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, you chewing tobacco over there? What is that? Think about it. The pelts are pit. It's good, good alliteration. This oh, no. could really be the big one. <laughs> the family pictures on the wall, that was so common then. I love the yeah. set decoration in this. Barn? Right? What do you think? Dog's dead? Oh, God, I hope not. I'm worried one of them's gonna like go raid the fridge or something. I still don't know the tone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, are we expecting comedy or horror? Yes. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, good. 
dog is still alive. I think we're expecting a little of both. <laughs> Poor dog. Another minute and he would have been in dog's a dog's yeah. Oh, wow. So look, all I know is that I'm positive that I closed and locked the door. Well, Dad, then how else did you get to him? Oh, oh, Billy, we can't point any fingers. Not even at Mrs. Deagle. No! Oh! <laughs> a hydrodynamic spatula. Ugh. Oh my god. <laughs> They're such a cute couple, though, because she finds it endearing. Her life must be so inconvenient. <laughs> yeah, but I'm sure she also just lives him. Because he's sweet. And all of a sudden, there were five new ones. Like this one. Oh. Now watch this. <laughs> no, no. What? Dude, no. <laughs> it's got to be odd having people just, like, drip water on you and induce labor. <laughs> it's It feels mean. I keep one of these here. <laughs> Got some tests on them. Yeah. I think I can spare Only one multiplied this time because one drop of water? I guess so, yeah. Oh, they miss each other. I feel like it's it's like dividing almost, not multiply. I don't know. It feels like every time they get more a little more evil, right? Time to go home now. Hey, how about one more beer? No, it's getting late. And one more beer, I'll help you clean up this mess. No, thanks, though. It'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Going home. Oh, oh yeah. He drives tractor. <laughs> gremlins. Hey. You gotta watch out for the foreigners because they plant gremlins in their machinery. That's the same gremlins brought down our planes in the big one. What? World War Two. Good old WWII. <laughs> what do you know, man? I don't think it's such a good idea that you drive. Why don't you walk home? You know, Katie, I think. Maybe I'll walk home. Yes, that's a good idea. He's been like that ever since he lost his job. He's like a lot of people around here. I just want somebody to listen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Especially around the holidays. Why is that? That's when a lot of people get really depressed. Yep. That's funny, you know, because I always thought everyone was happy during the holidays. No. Nope. Common misconception. Well, everybody else is opening up their presents. They're opening up their wrists. Oh. Did she, uh, br Did she say wrists? Yep. Did you ever get depressed on Christmas? I don't celebrate Christmas. <laughs> what, you're Hindu or something? No, I just don't like to. <laughs> well, what's not to like? I mean, it's a lot of fun, you know? Only Hindus don't celebrate Christmas. It's Washington's birthday or Thanksgiving, and nobody cares. But say you hate Christmas, and everybody makes you feel like you're a leper. Story of my life, babe. <laughs> I bet she lost somebody on Christmas. Is that right? I mean, I was just wondering, uh, if you're not doing anything this Thursday night, maybe you'd like to uh, go out on a date? No. Oh. I'd love to. You'll be happy this Christmas. We can talk about it, you know, on the phone and kind of square everything away. Night, Billy. No, you hang up. That was so effing oh. cute, per. Oh. <sighs> wow. They are quite, quite lovely. I'm so happy with that. Lover of love, shipper of ships. Their chemistry is delightful. It really, that was, that was a precious. Yeah, no, no, this is not gonna hurt. Oh, no, no, no. I hope it's not water. There you go. Oh, you're taking it out. What, what's up with you? I don't know, it just looks like it hurts. <laughs> and the needle's a big uh, compared to his little tiny arm. Where did they come from? Having fun? Fun. Pretty neat. Fun. <laughs> neat. <laughs> you were right about the words. Hey. But I was also kind of right. <laughs> hey, what is with you guys? How about shutting up for a change, okay? I already fed you. Not what did you feed midnight. them? Not after midnight. Oh, it's not 12 o'clock yet. All right. Keep an eye on them, kids. I'll be back in a second. Everybody gets a sandwich. Here we go. Oh, boy. Maybe you guys will be quiet. Whoa. Jeez. Oh, my God. It's like watching Denethor eat. <gasps> what? He's hungry. It's almost midnight. Was that just a brain on the table? <laughs> yeah, but did he tell him don't feed them after midnight? It's like after 2 a.m. now. That clock is right. Oh, no. He's leaving the sandwich thing there. And he's going to eat it. You just leave a sandwich? Just like out 
I only had like a two bites out it's of like it. Like out on the desk there. Oh, look at his little sleepy face. Yeah. So adorable. Mom? Yeah? Mom, could you come up here, please? Oh, my. What? What is what that? What is that? Bring the vacuum cleaner upstairs. <laughs> what? What are they? Those are gremlins. Did you feed them after midnight? Well, I gave them some chicken, but I made sure that it. Oh, is your clock broken? Ugh. I thought so because when we went to the other place, it was two in the morning. Mom, what's going on here? Magawai. <laughs> oh. Pupil stage. Like a butterfly. Right. This is a. Cool. And inside, oh. he's going through changes. Good. They're going to turn into gremlins. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's a good idea. Oh, my God. I like that she's always trying to use this stuff. No, I'm, I'm sure it works fine. I was just out in the back porch for a second. The convention's great. Yeah. It's a time machine from the time machine. Actually, the competition is a... Uh, oh, damn, and Forbidden Planet? This is a little more advanced than I expected. I was yeah, giving myself well, and oil Some oil. really neat <laughs> things, yeah. He must be so dank in here. He must smell so fleshy and moist. Drippy moist? <laughs> Drippy moist. Gooey moist. Where's that psychotic canine of yours still hiding under the counter? He's on vacation. Better keep him behind locked doors, because if I catch him, he's in for slow death. Oh, no. Yeah. She's going to find the gremlin. She's going to catch a mogwai. Doco, you got a human heart? Has he got That's a human nice. heart? Wait till you see this. Roll 10. You got a human heart? How many times a minute does a gremlin heart beat? Two times. Ugh. Oh god. Oh god. Woo! The light. Oh, remember when I told you I was like, I, th I thought they were green. Yeah, maybe they are. Oh, Gizmo. Oh, he's hiding in a helmet. <laughs> oh, it's like alien. This movie is making me a little anxious. <laughs> And I'm like, this has got to be like a real old educational film. No, I just mean this oh, movie. The, the movie Gremlins. Yeah, because is I'm it. unsure on what's happening. Yeah. Like, I mean, I get what's happening, obviously, but I'm like, what? How nervous should I yeah, be? Yeah, exactly. How nervous should I be? Come on now. Hey, you're not still angry about that little blood test, are you? Come on out. Take a bite. Are you a Snickers person? I like a Snickers. It's not my favorite candy, but I like a Snickers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Yeah, now. Don't you feel better, huh? You go bite your hand. No. Oh. Bit it off. Mr. Hansen? Is he dead, yes or no? I think he's got a stump hand. Oh, no, he did. Oh, no! He stabbed him with the needle. <laughs> no, no! Ew. Loss of innocence eats the <laughs> apple. <laughs> Loss of yeah. innocence. What the? He's eating glass. Or he's conducting an experiment. Ah, damn it. Like, if you're him, what's running through your mind? Ah! Like, <laughs> All kinds of stuff. <laughs> it's fun the way they're using like physical elements to communicate the movement so they don't have to do as much like direct on screen. It's like he moves and like there's like the flying little cotton balls and stuff. Dude, there's so many upstairs. Oh no. Oh jeez, dude. If you harm one hair on Gizmo's body. I'm so sad right now. Yeah. It's animal cruelty. Oh, shit. Very deliberate use of these, like, Dutch angle pans. Yeah. Ooh. What? They're getting dank up here. 
It's the opposite of drippy moist. Hot box in the attic. Dry heat, dry smoke, drippy moist. <laughs> oh my god. The cocoons. Yeah. But where is Gizmo? Are you okay? Where are you? Mom, they hatched. Get out of the house. Oh, oh yeah. Gizmo's still in the dumb waiter. Said the night wind to the little lamb. Do you see you what I, I see? see? I see. Ah. Man, don't ruin the groove sesh. It's okay. It's okay. Do you hear what I, I hear? Do you hear what I hear? <laughs> I should learn the words. Maybe one of his inventions is going to save her life. Oh. Like the swords. Good call. Come on, Mom. You got this. Jab, jab. Yeah. Or maybe he's going to have the bathroom buddy on him. He's oh, yeah. Someone's going to spray with yeah. toothpaste. Yeah. Or shaving cream or something. Get it, Mama. Kill her, mommy. Don't let him live. So it's like a horror comedy right now. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Gremlin. Yep. <laughs> what did they do in World War II? I don't know. They must have just been inside all the machinery eating on wires and stuff. <laughs> oh, nice. Night. Whoa! Oh my god! Carnage! Oh. Yes, she's got a shield. Yeah. It's like good china right there. Oh! oh my god. Get a get a match on that. Flamethrow that. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Oh, it fit in the microwave? Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Trust that stocking. It's in the stocking. But maybe it's Gizmo. Yeah. Maybe he's hiding. But based on the sounds, I don't think so. No, you're right, though. That would be more clever. This movie feels clever. Just don't want her to skewer. Poor guy. Oh, no. Oh, robot. Chestnut. Cool toy. Oh, the eyes. Nice. Nice with the eyes. Glowing red eyes. Ugh. It's like a rabid animal. Has anybody made a movie about a killer Christmas tree? Run, Forrest. This is a great premise for your strange holiday horror movie. Grab oh. the sword. Oh. Oh. Right in the fire. Mom, are you all right? So. Howie. Whoa. Oh my god. The rest of his body go. He chopped his head off. Oh, there you go. There you go. Jeez. Oh, it's a laundry chute. I thought it was a dumb waiter. <laughs> the question is totally without me. <laughs> Pardon me, sir. Stuff? That is Forbidden Planet, right? I or, don't know. Or is it Lost in Space? I've never seen Forbidden Planet. It's a movie? Yeah, it's like an old uh, sci fi movie. The famous robot. I never saw it. It's fun to stay at the YMCA of Kingston Falls. Stripe is staying at the YMCA yep. of Kingston Falls. <laughs> yeah, he's just going to get himself clean, have a good meal, and do whatever he feels, which is probably eating somebody. <laughs> Young man, don't go looking for trouble, I said. <laughs> Young man. When you're, uh, when there's, uh, the, the bubble, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Something on the double? Yeah. <laughs> That'll disconcert you. Oh, yeah. Uh, wow. Ouch. <laughs> no. Was that Gizmo? No, that was Stripe. What happens when Stripe goes in the water? I don't know, but it's a lot of water. And it's chlorinated. Whoa. <laughs> the Lazarus Pit. But do you think that he you can replicate once you're already a gremlin? I've been wondering that. 
I've also I'm, been wondering what we're going to do with the rest of the movie. We're making an army of gremlins. It's either a giant gremlin or an army of gremlins. Maybe they skip cute phase and just go straight to being evil. <laughs> Little monsters. Right. Hundreds of them. Little monsters. Lady Gaga. Hey. Where do these little uh, uh, gremlins come from, huh? My father gave me one as a present. Oh, pray. <sighs> Did father always give you uh, vicious little monsters for a present? No, no, they don't start out vicious at first. It's just like one of his inventions. Could you dim the lights in here, please? Go ahead, Brent. Dim the lights. Come on, Brent. Oh, it's that guy. There's another that. Oh, oh my God. Was that Mike from Breaking Bad? It's what Mike Ehrmantraut. Really? Yeah, just like well, super young, I think. That's wild. He oh used to be oh a young man. My God. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I love how jittery they are. A little stop motion. No. I wouldn't mind if she gets. Right, Larry? Oh, no, that's not the guy. No, nah, that's, yeah, that's not, not Miss Deagle, no. I just liked her. Larry, nothing bad going to happen to Larry, is it? Really quit messing with the TV. Well, he he has experience with the gremlins. He said that they yeah. did, took down the big one. Yeah, he's going to come in handy. I can't get a damn thing on this. Where are you going? I'm going to check the antenna. Maybe the damn thing blew down. <laughs> he got a Nixon poster. <laughs> Our place. They made it look cold somehow. What the hell is that? What do we got, Mr. Go Futterman? Go get him. You got this, babe. Yeah. Nobody messes with Dick Miller. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Not in my back hoe. Ugh. Such imps. I actually really dig the music in this. Yeah, it's like wacky, but still kind of. Yeah, kinda, super I don't know. quirky. Yeah, but it's like just right. Oh! It must have been so fun to shoot this scene. It oh. is crazy. Oh yeah. He knows. I told you, he knew. Uh, he's probably been waiting for this day of vindication. He had gremlin PTSD. Uh, patriotic little fella, ain't he? Waving a flag and everything. Yep, that's what Gizmo's all about, America. I might tear your arm off. <laughs> you want me to put the cuffs on it him? It is him. That is wild. Look at that face. Oh, my God. I never would have pulled that. Yeah. What? What happened? Something about a, a snowplow, a freak accident. It's the creatures. Oh, creature. The creatures are making ball. it look like an accident. Guys. Believe him. Go on home. <laughs> this guy's Gizmo there. finished Sit his drink. Sit by the fireplace and open your Christmas presents, okay? Gizmo was his Christmas present. Wow, so all this happened within like a day. Oh, no, buddy. No dollar bill. Yes, dollar bill? Here we go, old. His name is Dollar Bill. That's what I would name a cat. I could. This music it would be good, like bedtime music for me. Yes. Dun, 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 dun. Get you the vinyl of the soundtrack. Yeah, I kind of want that. Yeah. It like makes me feel like loopy, like off to La La Land. Yeah. I warned you, Brad. No. <laughs> yep. No. Oh. I would feel bad for her if she wasn't the living worst. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> did, did homie build this? <laughs> did pops build this? <laughs> oh, my God. What? <laughs> no, you, you saw one of them messing with the wiring. Yeah. That was hysterical. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was incredible. No, oh, jeez. Jesus, Frank, that's Dave Myers. He does Santa every year. Okay. I was like, is this the real Santa right now? <laughs> the stuff he's got all over him. <laughs> Use your eyes. If I saw that, I wouldn't know what to make of it. I yeah. think it was like a toy or something. Uh, they just left him? Yep. Santa's a goner. What the hell's going on? Shut up, Frank! <laughs> Shut up. Eh, uh, of course they cut the brakes. Oh, that's a stunt car. It does have a little bit of Home Alone vibes. Sure, sure. Christmas mischief. Chaos. I noticed here this uh, broken ashtray. It's broken? The belts are smokeless ashtray. 
I think this can solve your problem, here, sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what I kind of wanted the, the tutorial. I had that broken ashtray. I feel like no, he, he said could smokeless fix... ashtray. No, I know, but his other ashtray is broken. Yeah, but what's a smokeless ashtray? What? That's a good question. <laughs> Ashtrays don't smoke. Oh no! Golly! I like that she served all of them. <laughs> They are a vivacious bunch. Yeah. I would party with them. Vivacious and voracious. Don't bite me. With three cigarettes in the mouth. Any of these gremlins have ID. Whoa! God. Stripe is the best. Yeah. Oh my God. What is that one with the red lipstick? I need a portrait of gremlins playing poker. Oh, golly. This is low key hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, four aces. Look out. Oh, you just get shot. <laughs> it's like the old west in here. I also am getting Star Wars vibes. Oh, yeah. Gambling planet. <laughs> <laughs> Dame wanders over to my table. Nose like Rudolph. Puppets using puppets. I love it. <laughs> Whoa. Where are all of our people? Oh, remember they have a date on Thursday? Yeah. Is today Thursday? I hope so. I hope they have to have a date amidst all this. I don't know, but it must be this. Christmas, right? So maybe the date's when it's all over to end the movie. <laughs> Dude. Do you want your cigarette lit or not? You did it the first time? Oh, no, the oh, flash. Oh, no, the flash. Oh, that's the key. Yeah, but then just turn the lights on. Yeah, get a floodlight. Get like a 2K, you know, airy light. Just, you know, barn doors open, just shining on them. Whoa. <laughs> what is this scene, John? Just complete demolition. <laughs> like, how did this read on the page? Yeah, I'm like, how was this just like... A paragraph of like, the gremlins are causing a ruckus in the bar. <laughs> Chris Columbus is like, and then one bandit gremlin takes a gun out and shoots Stuart. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's with me. It's not one of them. And he is their father. What's wrong? Why is the car starting? All right, we're going to have to make a run for it, okay? Jeez. Oh, up in the window. <laughs> Great detail in this shot. They've been here too. What gave it away? What are these things? Where did they come from? Where did they come from? Where do they go? Where did they come from? Gremlin Adjo. <laughs> the worst thing that ever happened to me was on Christmas. I knew this was coming, Pete. I told you. It was Christmas Eve. I was nine years old. Oh, no. I don't want to hear that. Me and Mom were, were decorating the tree. Mom died, bro. Dad never came home. A couple hours went by. Dad wasn't home. Oh. So the police began a search. Damn. Four or five days went by. Neither one of us could eat or sleep. Yeah. I guess I was listening intently. Firemen came and broke through the chimney top, and me and Mom were expecting them to pull out a dead cat or a bird, and instead they pulled out my father. Wow. He was dressed in a Santa Claus a Santa suit. Claus. Oh. He'd been climbing down the chimney on Christmas Eve. Oh. His arms loaded with presents. Whoa. Oh my God. He slipped and broke his neck. Died instantly. That is extraordinarily sad. And that's how I found out there was no Santa Claus. That's why you're depressed every Christmas. I would be too. Woof. Imagine that's how you found out there's no Santa Claus. That would be so confusing. <laughs> uh -huh. First, you're like, Mom, Santa's dead. And then Mom's like, no, uh, worse. Actually, <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah, we gotta have two talks right yeah. now. <laughs> you want the bad news or the worst news? Yeah. That's horrible. What a story that they just gave her. That what was a, a good backstory. Monologue. Yeah. It was well done. It's funny, like, you know, you, you mostly, Phoebe Cates gets recognized so much for, was it Fast Times? But, like, that was a really lovely little monologue right there. Yeah, she did a very it's good very job. Very endearing in this movie. She's got those eyes that you hope that actors have that you just, like, can't <laughs> stop staring at. You know, it's, like, doe-eyed here. Yeah. Very much the girl next door. Where did they all go? It'll be like they're all together so dark sleep in heavenly peace yeah. the audio no the audio thing where it sounds like they're in a movie again when they do that uh, did you hear it it's sad the sound like the quality of the sound yeah yeah <laughs> 
Let's all go to the lobby. I do feel bad for them, though, because it's not their fault. Like, you created them, and then you just... They're inside. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> 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 but, so if they turn on the light, what will happen? I have no idea. Yeah, and it's like, is the projector light gonna? There's no way these dudes know how to how to load film. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Quentin Tarantino was rolling in his grave, and Scorsese and all those guys, Nolan. But does Scorsese think this is a real film? <laughs> is it cinema? Is this cinema? <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. Flasher Gremlins at the movies too. He's getting his peewee on. Snow White as a character is so outdated. Yes. In the future, they'll CG in the Rachel Zegler version. Where's the boiler room? It's in the back of the There's a boiler room at this movie theater. How hard do you think the script thought, like, which movie should we have them love? It's a good question. Because it seems like all the movies chosen are, like, pretty deliberate throughout yeah. this. <laughs> Candy. <laughs> yum, yum. I hope Stripe's the only one that makes it through, other than Gizmo. Gizmo and Stripe. I'm like, Stripe changes his stripes. Goes goes for a face turn. Cover your mouth. Don't breathe any gas. Nope. 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 Why? What is he going to do with the gas? They're going to blow this place sky high. Because of light? I feel like there's so many other ways to do it. Could you just turn on the lights? <laughs> well, they're going to turn on the lights. All right. They're going to light this place up. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a monster movie. No, oh, nice, Ig. Cool shot. Whoa. Coming right through the silver screen. Yo. Oh. <laughs> nice. Come on. Dun, 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 dun. It's like West Side Story all of a sudden. Oh, One of your own nice. kind. Oh! Got <laughs> a mask on. Oh my god. Did he have to blow up the whole theater? Yeah, how are people in town going to engage with the art of cinema now? Oh, stripe. Uh, <laughs> uh oh. A stripe of glitter in his hair, tinsel. Looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, Billy just doesn't give a shit what he's destroying. Yeah, you could have walked under that candy sign, saved them having to buy a new fluorescent or a neon, whatever you call that. Take this, go back and try and find some kind of light switch. Oh, <gasps> yeah. Oh, really cute on-screen kiss. What a first date. <laughs> Nicely done. Saturday morning at 8.30, we'll have Santa Claus for all the hey, kiddies. Bugs That's Bunny. Right. Sylvester. Oh and E.T. He was behind E.T. It's an Easter egg. E.T. found harm. Oh, wash, kosh, bagosh. Whoa, damn, dude. Grimsaw. <laughs> Getaway ride. He's kind of funny. He is funny. Yeesh! Ow! Woof. I've got a good arm on Stripe. Yes. Light. It's the light. Oh no. Is Gizmo about to make a sacrifice? Miss American Pie. No! Ow! Wow! What is that? Oh, saw? Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Oh. Put him in the light. Oh, no. It's a perfect little saw for him. It's perfect size. <laughs> this is a Barbie Corvette. <laughs> I'm so scared he's going to be in the light, though. <laughs> No, oh, that bat's not gonna hold out much longer. Damn! Ow! God, oh, that looked real. No, Gizmo, hide. Garfield shirts, nice. My eyes. Ha! 
<laughs> Good call. <laughs> well done. Love, love. The water, no. Water. Water. Gun. Oh water they gun. love guns? It's like the electric company. Water gun. Water gun. Let's go, Gizmo. Woo. A great POV. I mean, they ought to have gotten so much of Grogu from Gizmo, right? It does feel yeah. that way, dude. Like, I guess this is after Star Wars. Yeah, but, but his like, noises. But yeah, it's like <laughs> the look of Yoda with everything yeah, else Mogwai. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah. exactly. <laughs> totally. Oh, my precious. <laughs> Oh my god, he's going in the water. Barely. Whoa! Wait, he's evil. Yeah. I thought we could fix him. Nah, he likes guns too much. He's all about this life. I feel like the water's getting on him now. Yeah. Why isn't it working? Gremlins is a good title for this movie. I man. wonder if it's not really water, it's like olive oil or something. No, it's working. Oh, come on, buddy. His eyes are about to pop out of your head. No! Oh, good. It's the most realistic car jump stunt. The thing's totaled now. Gizmo. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, poor guy. Ooh, oh my god. Damn. What happens when it's sun and water at the same time? This? Oy. Damn. That is icky. So cool. <laughs> Dad, your scarf? Oh. Dad asks no questions now. Yeah. Uh -huh. You there. will find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes lying in a wrecked garden center in a hardware store. <laughs> wow. Ew. Good job. Oh, grody. That was gnarly. Like yeah. deflated. That was disgusting. Good job with that. Cool effects in this movie. Yeah. Huh. Don't you? I bet he'd like some chicken soup. Not enough water. No. No. Hey, I was wondering if you would show back up. Me too. Gentleman who sold me the Mogwai. He did not sell it to you. Oh, they understand each other. Your society has done with all of nature's gifts. Oh. You are not ready. Oh. I mean, he's got a point, I guess. Yeah, he does, <laughs> but also, like, harsh. He has something to say uh, to you. Elliot. Oh, want to say goodbye? Perhaps someday you may be ready. Until then, Mokwai will be waiting. Oh, You'll be ready nice. in no time, Billy. Well, that's the story. So if your air conditioner goes on the fritz or your washing machine... Oh, lovely. Before you call the repairman, <laughs> turn on all the lights, check all the closets and cupboards, look under all the beds, because you never can tell. With gremlins. Might be a gremlin in your house. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> this credit just popped right up. <laughs> really Ooh. cute. Nice. That was lovely. That was so much fun. Mary Balls Miss Reject Nation! You know what the funny thing is? I already owned this product before agreeing to do this partnership. I could have used my influencer ring to get it for free or at a discount, but hey, now you can get it at a discount, because this week we are, of course, sponsored by Manscaped. As a married man who's always on the move, I value looking sharp while keeping things efficient. And that's where Manscaped's Performance Package 5.0 Ultra comes in, featuring the Lawnmower 5.0, and it is a game changer. The package is honestly a perfect gift for yourself or for another man that you might know. I'll give this to John. 
If anyone asks, I pay for it out of my own pocket. But no, seriously, this is easily the best because it comes with not one, but two next-gen blade heads. See the difference? It's a good thing I have two now for demonstration purposes. So you got the standard trimmer for a perfect neat trim, but this one, the new foil blade for that super smooth finish, and oh yeah. It's all about safe grooming with their advanced skin safe technology. Plus, they're waterproof, so no more crumbs on the carpet. The package also includes the Weed Whacker 2.0 for ear and nose, and I definitely use this because look at me, I'm a hairy guy. And the must have liquid formations. The Crop Soother Aftershave Lotion and the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant. Say goodbye to post shave irritation and hello freshness. And the ultimate cherry on top two free gifts Manscaped's Premium Boxers 2.0 and the Shed 2.0 Toiletry Bag. Again, I already have one. The boxers, I'm wearing my pair right now. And the bag is perfect for all your grooming essentials, as you can see. So, you ready to elevate your grooming game? Head to manscaped.com and use code REJECTS for a cool 20% off plus free shipping. Remember, it's REJECTS checks for 20% off at manscaped.com. Let's get those jingle balls holiday ready with Manscaped. Thank you to Shopify for sponsoring, which is what we use for our merch store and is our game-changing partner in e-commerce. So whether you're launching a passion project or scaling to new heights, Shopify is the e-commerce powerhouse guiding you at every step. From creating your first online store to opening physical locations, Shopify makes it seamless. It's perfect whether you're selling exclusive merch or unique collectibles, thanks to their all-encompassing platform for both online and in-store store sales. Their checkout system unmatched. It's 36% more effective at converting visitors into buyers than other platforms. And let's not forget Shopify magic, the AI tool that elevates your business with minimal effort. But seriously, reflecting on our journey using Shopify for www.rejectnationshop.com, it's been transformative. The transition, smooth, growth, exponential. Thank you again, Reject Nation. From simplifying sales to scaling our offerings, Shopify has been a cornerstone of our success. And Shopify isn't just for us. It powers 10% of U.S. e commerce, backing businesses big and small in over 175 countries. Their award-winning support, always there to guide you. So ready to join the revolution? Sign up for Shopify at only a dollar a month at shopify.com slash rejects, all lowercase, shopify.com slash rejects. Start your Shopify success story now. Let's grow together with Shopify, team. Super into that. God, what a cast, too. What would you say the genre of that film was? That's a good question. I mean, it's definitely like a mishmash. It's definitely got, you know, horror, comedy, family, holiday. Like, you know, it's not... Howie Mandel. What? Special vocal effects. Frank Welker, fun. Hell yeah, okay, there you go. Yeah, you got a bunch of, like, voice actors to do. At least, I'm sure, Mogwai and others. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this is one of those... It's like, it's a horror comedy, but it's also, like... You could watch this with your family. Like, it's, I feel like, you know, kids, there's nothing too harsh or crazy that would either freak or scar, freak out or scar a, a, like a, a kid. And there's nothing too adult really happening. So, like, yeah, it's like a family horror comedy holiday something or other. <laughs> this is a weird question, but like, what do you feel like the lesson of the movie is? It's like, like, it's, like it's a cautionary tale? I mean, I guess so. Because at the beginning, you know, it's uh, dad's not taking no for an answer. And he's like, I must have this. Like, I guess it's that thing of like um, assuming that you can just is it with enough money that you should just be able to have anything you want. And but that's the you know, funny not... part because they didn't have money, but he spent two hundred dollars, you know? Yeah. Which in the moment seemed like he was like, I'll give you, you know, money is no is <laughs> is uh, is no object. But yeah. But then we know they're hurting. So I don't know. I think it's maybe about uh, respecting nature. <laughs> or something. Yeah, like the lesson at the end. Like you think that you knew what you were doing and you don't. Yeah. Your society is always doing this bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Snap out of You're it. You're always kind of perverting and exacerbating the things that are laid out for your abundance by nature, you know, you know and not leaving well enough alone. Peter Gabriel. I love him. You know, some, the one of the most impressive parts to me was the music. I thought that they just did an excellent, excellent job with the music. In oh, this. yeah. Yeah, because it's like endearing and, and sweet when it needs to be. And then it's like bouncy and demented when it needs to be. And it all kind of feels appropriately within the spirit of the holiday and all that. Yeah. I'm, I'm into this. Yeah, me too. I mean, I like them. 
I enjoy, and I think they're kind of rare now, these experiences where you watch, you're like, what genre is this? Like, this is so many things all at once, and it's, I think that helps make it unique. Now I'm super curious about the second one, (laughs) if it's more of a comedy or more of a horror. From the vague things I have heard people joke about it, it seems like it's like more zany, more comedy is my guess, but I don't know. I'm sure they'll incorporate some level of horror in some way or another. Is there a world in which you add this to your Christmas rotation? Yeah, actually, I would say definitely. Like, because for me, laughter. Because for me, like you know, I, I uh, am certainly a year-round horror fan, um, and I think this is nice. This is like a good like November or early December kind of move. Yes. I was gonna let him finish the sentence, but I didn't. <laughs> you know what else is good? What? A brand new t-shirt or hoodie or whatever you like from rejectnationshop.com. We got so many great designs. New ones dropping all the time. We got this brand new America's Ass the Boys inspired tea. Ooh. We got the Snip Snip and the Ah Soda Star Wars inspired the Who Influences the Influencers, the Child Protection Service, the Space Babies of the Galaxy. That's the perfect shirt for a Gremlins rewatch, all right? These are easily space babies of some galaxy. Can I tell you something cool? What did you, what was that? <laughs> I just got my first reject shirt. Oh, what is it? What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? It is just, I wanted a classic. I just wanted sure. a reject because it felt like a reject my whole life. And yeah. so it's just a white tee, plain white tee, reject baby. Yeah. yeah. Get yourself one. Get yourself one. Get you one. But you get, get yourself. Get yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Get yourself. That might be on a shirt one. Yeah, it's the here. best way to support the channel. It's our favorite way to support the channel. And uh, and yeah, we got signs designed in house. We also got some licensed ones too. So uh, go over there, check it out. And uh, hey, if you happen to grab something, send us a picture, tag us in it, and Ooh, uh, we'll repost you. Send us a pic. I like yeah. it. But anyhow, gremlins. <laughs> what were we talking about? <laughs> uh, if you were going to add this to your rotation. Yeah, I mean, for me, this is like the perfect like uh, November or early December kind of movie where, you know, like because I'm why I, November. Because it's not like it's a Christmas movie, but it's not so much a Christmas movie that it's like about. Uh, it's not solely being a Christmas movie about Christmas things first and foremost, I guess is why. So like this is a, a, a fun Christmas based adventure and it feels like Christmas time and there are, you know, warm notes. Um, there's certainly warmth from the family and there's warmth from the, like the developing relationship between Billy and uh, the, the Phoebe Cates character and stuff like that. And it harkens to a lot of Christmas movies, but it's not necessarily... Uh, you know, the spirit of Christmas. As you're so saying that, I remember that there's that debate, you know, how, I mean, it's been put to bed, but like, is Die Hard a Christmas movie? <laughs> there's that debate. I've heard that with Gremlins too. Is it a is it a Christmas movie? And like, to me, this clearly was a Christmas movie, mm-hmm. but I do get what you're saying. It's, it's a Christmas movie without like Christmas themes. It's just at Christmas time. Like it starts with the Christmas present. Yeah. But I don't feel like the theme was like, Family is more important than any, you know. Uh, yeah, it's like. But the, then we do hear that story from Phoebe Kay's character. Yeah, about the, Christmas. The, that was str- a striking little piece of tragedy, right? That there. feels like that could be its own movie. Y- yes. <laughs> oh my god. Different tone. Yeah, very. Yeah, I mean that's kind of the nice thing is I feel like this has a lot of Christmas spirit in it kind of around the periphery and stuff like that because yeah it's like everybody is just trying to deal with the holiday in one way or another you've got yeah your people who are in the spirit you've got your people who are like they touch on that and I think that's kind of a nice thing for a movie like this because it's it's a a real thing that they didn't have to do that whole discussion of like people get really depressed around the holidays and not everybody is in you know the spirit and and here's might be why and then taking the time to give that character that backstory and that monologue for uh phoebe cates which was really touching and even the way they draw the family it's like you could have had conflict or or just like i don't know other tensions and it's like you know the the main family like they they love each other and there's not like a huge like i feel like his inventions in a different movie might have like caught been a big source of tension and they're just like a quirky detail and like you pointed out it's like the mom 
she really loves him and she's kind of amused by his wacky little inventions and stuff. And there's like a lot of warmth there yeah. for the family. You get to choose how you feel about things sometimes. And like they just kind of, the son too, like he's so excited with the present and he loves his dad. And even when at the bank somebody calls it out, like your dad's a loser, or never, whatever. Yeah. Like he, they are a tight family unit. So maybe it is more about family than I'm even letting on, but like it is. I think that's really sweet. We always see the the wife that's so annoyed with her bumbling husband, you know, yeah. like kind of like the Marge Simpson, Homer Simpson issue. And yeah. like, this was like, I felt the genuine love between the dog, the parents, yeah. the kid, like, and when they walk in, it's not like, oh, why does the sword keep falling? Or like, oh, this yeah. orange juice. It's just kind of like what it is. Uh, I am curious what happened to Corey's character. He did kind of just trickle this is another this is another interesting I feel like movies were also kind of poised differently uh, in previous decades where like this had that uh, and also a quality I don't even know quite how to describe it where you have your main characters that you're kind of always with and you have some distinct side characters who you peer in on but who aren't like the point so yeah they don't all get like wrapped up it's like you know Mr. Futterman doesn't really get like a big wrap up and Corey Feldman doesn't get like a big wrap up or something like they're mentioned and they pop up and like you know Corey's on the radio at one point I think that's the last we hear of him um, and things like that, yeah, like I can understand wanting some resolution on them, but I at the same time... it's good enough. It didn't bother me too much. It was just interesting. Yeah, because like the situation resolves with our main characters in a very sensible way. And then I, I, I appreciate the way it handles the rest of them because it almost does feel like just bumping into people around town in a small place where everybody sort of knows each other. You know? Sometimes you want to go... Where everybody knows your, your name. name. See, I usually finish it, but you didn't on that. Sorry, right. I gotta watch more Cheers. I'm sorry. You haven't seen Cheers? I've seen like scattered episodes, but not enough to be like I have binged it and know all the. I don't know the theme song by heart. You're, obviously, you're sitting with the Boston girl, though. You oh, know that, right? I'm sorry. By the next time we hang out, and and That's I'll have seen all of Cheers. Blasphemy. And I'll go to Fenway Pack. I did think that the guy the. Um, bumbling drunk guy. He definitely had a Boston accent, not a New York accent. I was thinking that for a minute, but I was like, okay, some Boston people move over. The neighbor, yeah, uh, Mr. Futterman, yeah, Mr. Dick Mr. Miller, yeah, he definitely yeah, sounded mean, very Boston in this for yeah. some reason. Yeah, he's got one of those like in yeah East Coast East like, Coast yeah, exactly. indeterminate accent. Yeah. Totally, because certain words, I was like, hmm, where are we again? Yeah, uh, but yeah, I thought that this was really like. For a movie that it came out in 1984 that you and I have heard about our entire lives, that's been probably hyped up by everybody we know. Yeah, yeah. And that, like, definitely, obviously, technology changing to the extent that it has. For me to be like, well, I really enjoyed myself during that. Yeah. I'm pretty excited that that was the the takeaway. Oh, yeah. Like, this, I can absolutely see the love that this has, has garnered over the years. And this does have, again, a slightly different sensibility than the here and now and it definitely feels like something more akin to like the time that like an et comes out or something where yeah it starts out kind of fun and fanciful and then becomes like a serious situation after a while and it doesn't lose its sense of fun and fancy but it does become much more of like a horror movie by then it also felt like a steven spielberg produced film yeah and it also felt like it borrowed from a lot of classics yeah. like a wizard of oz type with the witch but also a lot of currents borrow from this. Oh, a hundred percent. Which this, is cool. This is funny, and it was it was interesting to watch as they there were a lot of things, and I'm sure there are more than I'm gonna remember. But there are a lot of ways in which I feel like they were homaging Christmas movies because it's like he works at the savings and loan, and they're watching, you know, right. uh, it's a wonderful, a wonderful life, life at one yeah, point. Yeah. But and Mrs. Deagle is is clearly Scrooge slash also Mr. Potter. Um, and yeah, you, you have these other little touchstones to various Christmas m movies and iconography and stuff like that uh, in ways that I thought were, if it was now, they would be more like in your face. Like, see, huh? Uh, reference, huh? Whereas here, like they happen and you can catch them and you can go like, hey, that's fun. But it, they're not like screaming. They felt a little bit more subtle and a little bit more sort of I yeah don't know. and same thing with the christmas music like sprinkled in but not all the time and yeah. like, even when it was there it was kind of like a, a twist a variation on it yeah for sure yeah it's not like beating you in the face with it and it's like i liked uh the, the effects i really thought that the way that they chose to you know they they 
Props to Joe Dante, and I've, I've seen a couple of his movies, uh, namely, I mean, Small Soldiers certainly kind of harkens to this, and uh, I really like the way that they shot the Mogwai, the Gremlins, because there's so many moments where you're like, okay, great use of like off-screen elements and camera movements uh, to hide the things that are especially hard to achieve with either stop motion or puppetry, but then there is a bunch of puppetry, and there's a bunch of stop motion animation, or at least here and there for some of the more complex moments, there's stop motion animation. And I thought it blended all of those things together in a really, really nice, smooth sort of way. I agree, and I don't mean this um, in any way that... It- it, like I know that people don't like this word sometimes, but I thought it was really cute the way that it all blended together. Like yeah. I thought that the Mogwai was very cute, and um, I even thought that the that the um, Gremlins, like when they're all marching towards yeah. us, and and you were like, ooh, that stop motion of the all of them like yeah. coming towards. I thought it was endearing and yeah, cute. Yeah, they're zany and wacky and kind of cute and kind of cute. Yeah, yeah, totally. I'm into this. Yeah, me too. I liked this a whole lot. Yeah, this was this was kind of everything I I hoped it could be. And nice to have that experience where you're like, I don't quite quite know what this is. Yeah, we and, were like an hour in and I said, dude, what's the genre? <laughs> yeah, and it, and it just keeps kind of twisting and, and warping. And, and yeah, it's it's unique. It's very unique in that way. And I appreciate that quite a bit. Like, yeah, I'll definitely pull this out year year after year during the holidays. I would be curious to see the second one. So you guys, if you sure. want to see us do that, like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to tell your friends. We just watched Gremlins for the first time. Maybe they haven't seen it. Holiday season's a good time to do a nice watch along with us. Yeah. Any final Gremlins thoughts? Um, I feel like we touched on most everything. I like the cast. Uh, I thought the cast yeah, was too. all very charming. Everybody, you know, was very earnest in their different roles. Good, again, the main cast I thought was really nice. Good character actor work popping up and everything. And a solid script as well. Okay. Well, I thought this was a solidly made picture all around. We might be the rejects, but we don't reject this. Not at all. We accept it. We accept it. you got to change your hat it. then. I do. Accept Yes. <laughs> yeah, I was dropping next month. It's your acceptance hat from the On the, the back side, nation. it should be there so you can kind of flip the it. The reversible, like, yeah. Is, you um, flip it inside out. And uh, nightmare Before Christmas's face. Yeah, the mayor. It'll <laughs> the be mayor. just like that. That's another great, like, November or early December movie where it's, like, for part way. But also October. Yeah. I, sure. Do not, do not come at me right now with Nightmare Before Christmas is not a full blown Halloween movie. It is. I don't watch it during Halloween time, but I don't begrudge anybody who does. I also think it's a Christmas movie, but it's not not a Halloween movie. It is. It is a Halloween movie. That's a debate for a different time. Thanks for being here with us. We'll see you soon. Love you all. 